Hi, everyone. It's great to be back at Google I.O. Today, you've seen how AI is transforming our products across Gemini, Search, Workspace, and more. We're bringing all these innovations right onto your Android phone. And we're going even further to make Android the best place to experience Google AI. This new era of AI is a profound opportunity to make smartphones truly smart. Our phones have come a long way in a short time, but if you think about it, it's been years since the user experience has fundamentally transformed. This is a once in a generation moment to reinvent what phones can do. So we've embarked on a multi-year journey to reimagine Android with AI at the core. And it starts with three breakthroughs you'll see this year. First, we're putting AI-powered search right at your fingertips, creating entirely new ways to get the answers you need. Second, Gemini is becoming your new AI assistant on Android, there to help you anytime. And third, we're harnessing on-device AI to unlock new experiences that work as fast as you do while keeping your sensitive data private. Let's start with AI-powered search. Earlier this year, we took an important first step at Samsung Unpacked by introducing Circle to Search. It brings the best of search directly into the user experience. So you can go deeper on anything you see on your phone without switching apps. Fashionistas are finding the perfect shoes, home chefs are discovering new ingredients, and with our latest update, it's never been easier to translate whatever's on your screen, like a social post in another language. And there are even more ways Circle to Search can help. One thing we've heard from students is that they're doing more of their schoolwork directly on their phones and tablets. So we thought, could Circle to Search be your perfect study buddy? Let's say my son needs help with a tricky physics word problem, like this one. My first thought is, oh boy, it's been a while since I've thought about kinematics. If he's stumped on this question, instead of putting me on the spot, he can circle the exact part he's stuck on and get step-by-step -step instructions, right where he's already doing the work. Ah, of course, final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times elapsed time. Right. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Seriously, though, I love how it shows how to solve the problem, not just the answer. This new capability is available today. And later this year, Circle to Search will be able to tackle more complex problems involving symbolic formulas, diagrams, graphs, and more. Circle to Search is only on Android. It's available on more than 100 million devices today, and we're on track to double that by the end of the year. You've already heard from Sissy about the incredible updates coming to the Gemini app. On Android, Gemini is so much more. It's becoming a foundational part of the Android experience. Here's Dave to share more. Hey everyone, a couple of months ago, we launched Gemini on Android. And like Circle to Search, Gemini works at the system level. So instead of going to a separate app, I can bring Gemini right to what I'm doing. Now, we're making Gemini context aware, so it can anticipate what you're trying to do and provide more helpful suggestions in the moment. In other words, to be a more helpful assistant. So, let me show you how this works, and I have my shiny new Pixel 8a here to help me. So my friend Pete is asking if I want to play pickleball this weekend, and I know how to play tennis, sort of. Uh, I had to say that for the demo, uh, but I'm new to this pickleball thing, so I'm going to reply and try to be funny, and I'll say, uh, is that like tennis, but with uh, pickles? <laughs> um, this would be actually a lot funnier with a meme, so let me bring up Gemini to help with that. 
and I'll say uh, create image of tennis with pickles. <laughs> Now, one new thing you'll notice is that the Gemini window now hovers in place above the app so that I stay in the flow. <laughs> okay, so that generates some pretty good images. Uh, what's nice is I can then drag and drop any of these directly into the messages app below, so like so. Cool, let me send that. All right, so Pete was typing and he says, uh, how, he's sending me a video on how to play pickleball. All right, thanks Pete, let's tap on that. That launches YouTube, but you know, I only have one or two burning questions about the game, uh, and I can bring up Gemini to help with that. And because it's context-aware, Gemini knows I'm looking at a video, so it proactively shows me an Ask This Video chip. So let me tap on that, and now I can ask specific questions about the video. So for example, uh, what is, is, can't type, the two-bounce rule? because that's something that I've heard about but don't quite understand in the game. By the way, this uses signals like YouTube's captions, which means you can use it on billions of videos. So give it a moment, and there. I get a nice, succinct answer. The ball must bounce once on each side of the court uh, after a serve. Okay, cool. Let me go back to messages. And Pete's followed up, and he says, you're an engineer, so here's the official rule book uh, for pickleball, okay? Thanks, Pete. Uh, Pete's very helpful, by the way. Okay, so we tap on that, launch as a PDF. And that's an 84-page PDF. I don't know how much time Pete thinks I have. Anyway, us engineers, as you all know, like to work smarter, not harder. So instead of trolling through this entire document, I can pull up Gemini to help. And again, Gemini anticipates what I need and offers me an Ask This PDF option. So if I tap on that, Gemini now ingests all of the rules to become a pickleball expert. And that means I can ask very esoteric questions, like, for example, uh, are spin uh, serves allowed? And uh, let's hit that, because I've heard that rule may be changing. Now, because I'm a Gemini advanced user, this works on any PDF and takes full advantage of the long context window. And there's just lots of times when that's useful. For example, let's say you're looking for a quick answer in an appliance user manual. And there you have it. It turns out, nope, spin serves are not allowed. So Gemini not only gives me a clear answer to my question, it also shows me exactly where on the PDF to learn more. Awesome. OK. So that's a few of the ways that we're enhancing Gemini to be more context-aware and helpful in the moment. And what you've seen here are the first really many new ways that Gemini will unlock uh, new experiences at the system level. And they're only available on Android. You'll see these and more coming to hundreds of millions of devices over the next couple of months. Now, building Google AI directly into the OS elevates the entire smartphone experience. And Android is the first mobile operating system to include a built-in on-device foundation model. This lets us bring Gemini goodness from the data center right into your pocket. So the experience is faster while also protecting your privacy. Starting with Pixel later this year, we'll be expanding what's possible with our latest model, Gemini Nano with multimodality. This means your phone can understand the world the way you understand it. So not just through text input, but also through sights, sounds, and spoken language. Let me give you an example. 2.2 billion people experience blindness or low vision. So several years ago, we developed TalkBack, an accessibility feature that helps people navigate their phone through touch and spoken feedback. Helping with images is especially important. In fact, my colleague Caro, who uses TalkBack, will typically come across 90 unlabeled images per day. Thankfully, TalkBack makes them accessible. And now we're taking that to the next level with the multimodal capabilities of Gemini Nano. So when someone sends Kara a photo, she'll get a richer and clearer description of what's happening. Or let's say Kara is shopping online for an outfit. Now she can get a crystal clear description of the style and cut to find the perfect look. Running Gemini Nano on device helps minimize the latency, and the model even works when there's no network connection. These improvements to TalkBack are coming later this year. Let me show you another example of what on-device AI can unlock. 
People lost more than $1 trillion to fraud last year. And as scams continue to evolve across texts, phone calls, and even videos, Android can help protect you from the bad guys, no matter how they try to reach you. So let's say I get rudely interrupted by an unknown caller right in the middle of my presentation. Hello? Hi, I'm calling from SafeMore Bank Security Department. Am I speaking to Dave? Uh, yeah, this is Dave, kind of in the middle of something. We've detected some suspicious activity on your account. It appears someone is trying to make unauthorized charges. Uh, oh yeah, what, what kind of charges? I can't give you specifics over the phone, but to protect your account, I'm going to help you transfer your money to a secure account we've set up for you. <laughs> and look at this. My phone gives me a warning that this call might be a scam. Gemini Nano alerts me the second it detects suspicious activity, like a bank asking me to move my money to keep it safe. And everything happens right on my phone, so the audio processing stays completely private to me and on my device. We're currently testing this feature, and we'll have more updates to share later this summer. And we're really just scratching the surface of the kinds of fast, private experiences that on-device AI unlocks. Later this year, Gemini will be able to more deeply understand the content of the screen without any information leaving your phone, thanks to the on-device model. So remember that pickleball example earlier? Gemini and Android will be able to automatically understand the conversation and provide relevant suggestions, like where to find pickleball clubs near me. And this is a powerful concept that will work across many apps on your phone. In fact, later today at the developer keynote, you'll hear about how we're empowering our developer community with our latest AI models and tools like Gemini Nano and Gemini in Android Studio. Also, stay tuned tomorrow for our upcoming Android 15 updates, which we can't wait to share with you. As we said at the outset, we're reimagining Android with Gemini at the core. From your favorite apps to the OS itself, we're bringing the power of AI to every aspect of the smartphone experience. And with that, let me hand over to Josh to share more on our news for developers. Thank you. <laughs>